Hey Libra, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is the Spirit Fund and we're having a look at your energies for June 2021. This is general guys, so it will not resonate with you all. Please use your intuition to see if it is your reading. If it is, like, share and subscribe or book yourself a personal reading if you're interested. That information should be below in the description. If this isn't your reading Libra, please don't force it. I'm sure you'll find the perfect reading for your current circumstances here on YouTube, okay? Libra, let's get into your energies. Oh, Libra. I'm sensing you guys are choosing to walk away from something. Um, I sense that you've given something your all. You fought for it as much as you can. Uh, but unfortunately, you're just at a space where you've had to make a judgment call. And in order to restore balance in your life again, and as a Libra, we all know balance is crucial um in order to restore balance you've had to turn your back on something that you might have once cared for and possibly you've even had to move away completely this could be moving away emotionally mentally physically there's just been some sort of cutoff of something that was creating way too much internal chaos possibly the internal chaos started to spill out um physically where you might have been fighting with someone verbally physically fighting possibly even i am sensing that you're coming out of a cycle uh where there's a lot of regret okay there might have also been an argument where things were said i'm just sensing that there's a lot of regret about a situation that you've had to leave behind Whatever it is that was creating this chaos, I am sensing that you have decided to transform the situation for yourself. A lot of you have seen it for what it is. You've come to that judgment that this is no longer serving you. You've learned all the lessons you can from this situation and it's time to go somewhere else. The reasons I'm saying this is because we've got the five of cups followed with the five of wands. These are two fives indicating transformation and change. It's just been a lot of chaos. I'm, I'm sensing a lot of you, this is internal, struggling to find balance within yourself, which has now created a lot of regret within you. Um, even though the five of cups does indicate a lot of the times that someone is crying over spilt milk and unable to see the blessings that are coming towards them, that's not the energy I'm picking up for you, Libra. I'm sensing that a lot of you, yes, even though though you are in regret and even though you might have had a little bit of conflict about leaving the situation behind ultimately you have realized and have come to the ultimate decision that moving away is something that's safer and better for your mental health um there's just an ending to something some sort of cycle a situation a relationship maybe for some of you this is a job situation where there was too much chaos i am sensing you are choosing to leave something behind you've made the decision i don't think you guys are going to be turning back anytime soon it's very clear that in order to find balance for yourself i'm going to reiterate which is very important for a libra you've had to move away from something that once meant a lot to you so let's get some clarification as to what it is you're moving away from is it romantic financial what's going on here the five of cups first could have been dealing with a situation where you were waiting for someone to come to some sort of decision um but unfortunately you've just seen things now for what they are for some reason you've changed your perspective about something or someone you're finally seeing things for what they are um there could have been a light bulb moment possibly through an argument maybe someone said something that maybe now you see them for who they truly are i am sensing that someone's just changed their perspective perspective about a situation and even though there's a lot of regret and even though you might be in a little bit of conflict about turning your back ultimately turning your back is the best decision for you just want to get a little bit more clarification Ooh. so 
So yeah, for some of you, this was um, a situation that has to do with relationships. Um, definitely a romance, possibly, that pff, there might have been a secret. Some, Maybe someone was keeping you a secret. Maybe someone wasn't coming forward wholeheartedly with their emotions. Maybe someone was keeping their emotions a secret. Maybe someone had a decision to make between two lovers. Possibly someone had children outside of this relationship and they had to make the decision to go back. Um, the lovers is the uh, choice between two. And the son could be someone with children. So... With this moon and the Ace of Cups in reverse, it could indicate that possibly there was some sort of unrequited love or a secret in some sort of way. Um, that secret did come out. Possibly that's the enlightenment that happened. And that is what's caused all of this conflict between the two of you. And that's possibly also where this regret is coming from. I really need a little bit more clarification. This is quite a complicated reading here, guys. Um, let me know in the comments below exactly what's going on in your situation. If you don't mind, you don't have to. <laughs> wow, yeah, there was definitely, okay, yeah, wow. There's so much defensiveness between the two of you or between you and a certain group of people, maybe. Um, if this isn't romantic, remember, I'm not necessarily understanding if it is romantic. It could be. Um, someone could have made you fight for their attention with other people romantically. But this could also be you at the workplace having to compete to get your... Um, to get yourself across and to get your point across. And I think um, something came out, some sort of secret has come out that has made you just choose to keep being defensive, keep those um, boundaries up and just get balance for yourself elsewhere because this play, wherever it is that you are, the circumstances that are surrounding you are creating so much um, imbalances within you that you're not feeling like yourself right now. And I do feel like you've had to make the judgment call to put yourself first, essentially. Keep these boundaries up and fight off what doesn't serve you. Wow. Oof. What else can I clarify here? Let's go into the Light Seers Tarot. Let's clarify with the Light Seers, okay? Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to ask for one or two more cards. Okay, that's way too many cards. Okay, wait. I am sensing I'm reading for two Libra uh, groups here. Some of you, this is financial or career related, where there's some institution that you are a part of, where there's just been too much chaos and you've had to move away. That's the first group I'm feeling. Uh, second group, this is all about a relationship. Someone that possibly was creating a lot of conflict for you by possibly having to pick between you and another person or just taking this relationship too slowly. Um, so let's start with the ones where this is more financial wow look at this guys you have definitely had to walk away from something um, that you were possibly invested in for quite some time a job that you were at for quite some time you had gone up the ladder for, um, you had invested a lot in this business and you had gone up the ladder and you had possibly reached the ceiling for some of you or if there was some sort of conflict that was preventing you from reaching the ceiling um it's created a lot of internal worry and a lot of doubt and fear within you wondering if you should stay where you are but i am sensing that a lot of you have come to the conclusion that leaving walking away is what's best for you You've chosen to just go plant your seed somewhere else because that's the kind of soil that will actually help this plant to grow. Where you are right now, it's just not healthy. Um, and I do sense that a lot of you are choosing to move away. Should this be romantic? Um, same kind of energies where you saw a long-term potential with this person. Maybe you were married to this person. Um... But unfortunately, there was just too much internal conflict for you. 
once again you've had to walk away and go plant your seeds somewhere else no matter how long it might take you i do feel like a lot of you are okay with being single because being single is a little bit more balanced and in that energy, you will be able to manifest a divine counterpart. In divine timing, okay, whether it takes a day or 10 days, 10 weeks or 10 months, I do feel like a lot of you will be content with being by yourselves. You'll be nurturing yourselves. You'll be taking care of yourself spiritually, mentally, and financially. You'll be abundant as you move away from the chaos and move to something a little bit more balanced. Balance is the way of the Libra anyway. So, um, yeah, if you feel like you might be um, conflicted about this decision that you have to make about moving away, this reading might be a little bit of a nudge in the sense that leaving might be the safest space for you, okay? In order for you to actually reach all of this abundance that's coming towards you, the balance that's coming towards you, you might actually have to get on your horse and move away. All right. The nine of pentacles is the single card. Even if you're not single, it just means that you are independent. So that's the energy you need to be in right now. Um, kind of planting your own seeds and making sure that whatever your intentions are, grow. If you're thinking about starting a business, go for it. If you are worried about being single, don't stress. It won't be for long. Just nurture yourself. That's all that this reading is asking you to do. Balance is coming, okay? Whatever chaos you're coming out of, it's okay. Don't worry. There might be a lesson within it. Learn the lesson. See everything from a higher perspective. And then just keep it moving. What else can I clarify for you guys? The universe says I should just keep shuffling. So I'm going to find a few more cards. And then we'll close off your reading with that storm feels in reverse. I just bent my card. Gosh. Oh, yes, guys. This is why the universe asked me to get these cards. It's just a little, um, what's the word? What's the word when someone, encouragement, that's the word. This is some encouragement from the universe that everything, I think I just said this literally, everything that you've been through was a lesson. You've just gone through a little bit of a hard school of, knocks to be to be honest the universal school of hard knocks um you've learned some tough lessons but i think you've gathered these lessons with these lessons you'll be able to step into your new cycle a little bit more developed as a human being as a soul mentally and subconsciously okay um, there is an adventure coming towards you. It might not come towards you as quickly as you might like, but there's something definitely coming towards you, a different cycle. Some of you might even travel or you might meet someone from a completely different culture. You might start a long distance relationship or you might start a business on the internet. Think about these things. If you're not, um, if you don't have an online dating profile, do it. If you don't have a website to sell, whatever it is that you're doing on the side, do it because what Whatever it is you're trying to manifest, the balance that you are trying to draw towards you is about to come towards you a lot quicker than you realize. What you had to do was turn your back on this chaos and prove to the universe that you're willing to find balance for yourself. And as soon as the universe taps into that energy, which it will very, very soon, is when you will reap the rewards for the lessons that you have learned in this cycle, okay? Don't worry, Libra, if things are a little dark right now, understand that should you keep making the decisions that are best for you and should you keep fighting for yourself, you're going to be okay. Fighting for yourself from a place of love, of course, okay? Let's not get messy here. <laughs> All right, um, let's close off your reading with Stormfields in reverse. Um, I do hope that this reading is helping you in any little way, okay? If it is, please like, share, subscribe, all of that jazz. <laughs> Let me know the story if you're willing to open up. Stormfields was in reverse, so damn, let's see what that has to say. Um, oh, actually, that could be a good thing. That could mean that you're coming out of the Stormfields. So let's see. Now is not the time to engage in any activity that brings unwanted chaos or drama into your life. This kind of storm can be destructive and you'll regret your actions later. Hmm. Oh, hurtful words will be carried on the wind 
and bring a tornado of betrayal and anger and unnecessary angst. Find shelter. This turbulent weather will pass, yes, and your house will be untouched. Say no to drama. Wait till the storm blows over. Only then will you be heard. Oh my goodness. What the hell? Oh, thank you so much, universe, for that message. That said everything so much better than I could have ever said everything. Wow, that was even kind of poetic. So I do hope that that helps you. Um, if there's chaos around you that's not involving you, but might be involving you, but indirectly, stay out of it. Just keep the balance, keep the wusa, keep in that mental space of calm and understand that it will pass. If for some reason you do have to go to battle to stand up for what you have to stand up for, uh, do it from a gentle place once again, but understand it will pass. Um, if you've had to leave a conflict or a person who was bringing conflict within you, understand that you've made the best decision for you. Balance is coming towards you a lot quicker than you realize, okay? Just let this cycle pass. Beautiful stuff. Hope it's your reading, guys. Love and light. Catch me on the next one. Bye.